Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Welcome aboard our flight to Agadir. Please fasten your seat belts. This is going to be a hell of a ride. in Agadir to be precise. It is now I think uh, maybe three o'clock or something in the afternoon and we just arrived at the hotel which is pretty nice and we have the beach somewhere there. The ride was a bit rough because when we landed we wanted to get a taxi and then you know how they are in this country they start to negotiate the price so we said no we pay this amount and nothing else but eventually he just drove us he wanted to charge extra for our luggage because I'm like, we don't charge extra for the luggage. I mean, you're a, you're a taxi driver. I mean, it's part of of the thing, you know. So that was the first, like, kind of trouble. And then while we were driving to the hotel, I got so sick. I almost fainted. We arrived at the hotel at the right time. So I just, I got out. My friend paid the cab. And I just sat down for a minute. I was like, the guy who came to get our luggages to go inside, I was like, wait a moment, I'm not feeling well. Can you wait a second? And he said, yeah, yeah, sure, take your time, take your time. So that was it. Maybe because I think I kind of almost fainted because of one, the stress, the traveling, and we barely eaten something. I drank coffee and then I had like a cannoli with pistache. And that was it. So I think that kind of was the cause of, of me almost fainting. We change our clothes and soon we'll be going out to the beach. We're gonna go grab something for lunch, hopefully. And then another problem. As we were on the plane, I wanted to order cola and my card wasn't accepted. I have a maestro, but I didn't realize you need a visa, but I also don't have a visa, so we only had cash. It was a major problem because we are here now stranded with just some cash and we still have to figure out a way to get money. somewhere <laughs> in Agadir <laughs> we wanted to go to the right it was Suk, Suk El Harat market yeah. and well we stopped the cab to go there because it was too long to walk and we asked the guy to bring us there and said yeah yeah sure so we hopped in the cab and then after we were dr driving for two three minutes he told us the market was closed now because it's Ramadan and there's nothing really to see, we have to go during the day. And then we asked if, if there's another market. And he said yes. And then he dropped us off somewhere. And the market is closed. And then he told us, the market will be open in 20 minutes. <laughs> because now it's Ramadan break, but it will open. So we waited, we went to McDonald's. I got some food because I was so hungry. Basically now it's almost an hour further and <laughs> it's still not open. <laughs> so now we're kind of looking for a cab to go back to the hotel because this is just sad. <laughs> we have been fooled. We made it to the hotel. We walked halfway and then we took a cab and we made it. We're happy. After one hell of a first day, we woke up the next morning and enjoyed some breakfast. I was really excited to eat the Moroccan pancake called M7. And after breakfast, we decided to visit the Souk El Hat market, which was an interesting experience, so to say. We are at the Souk El... well... How was it again? Souk El Hat? Souk El Hat. <laughs> Souk El Hat market, and it's huge here. We have been walking around for half an hour, I think and we still haven't seen everything and they have all kinds of stuff here like everything 
electronics, uh, decorating, spices, uh, fruit, vegetables, everything. And oh, the sun is finally out because this morning when we left it was like cloudy and now the sun's out and it's getting really warm. We are waiting for the taxi to pick us up. We have to wait for 20 more minutes. So our plan next will be to go to the marina because we want to go shop in the Zara because I still need a bikini <laughs> for tomorrow and then we're gonna have some lunch. I just found out this cool feature on iPhone, the cinematic video. I didn't know it was this cool because it blurs out your background which is pretty cool. I think you can see it's always a little bit blurry. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm gonna try the cinematic view. I'm gonna see if it can take two people. Let's see. Oh, oh no, I'm blurry. <laughs> wow, look how pretty. <laughs> is trying my vape. It's not going so well. Strong <laughs> shit. <laughs> Cheers. Zoe has been sitting here for a while. That's why her drink is almost <laughs> empty. Mm -hmm. I went bikini shopping. <laughs> so it's good. transfer today because we are going to Paradise Valley so today it was kind of an intense morning because when I woke up I checked my email and we booked an activity with the quad bike for normally tomorrow but it said it was today and we wouldn't be able to make it because today's activity is like six hours so we won't make it in time for a pickup luckily I was able to message them and it was okay to reschedule our appointment, so that's a good thing. Okay, so wrong transfer. The guy told us we are on another bus and it will soon come, we hope, because they left right now. <laughs> and they're like 5-10 minutes late, so we hope that wasn't our real transfer and the guy just proved what was wrong, so we wait. After having our little adventure, we decided to spend the afternoon at our regular beach bar. 
We had some delicious pizza, drank cocktails and played games. Both of us had been really craving sushi, so when we found a good sushi restaurant near our hotel, we decided to try it out, and let me tell you, it did not disappoint. This must have been one of the best meals I had over there. just got back from lunch and this morning we thought it would be nice to have like a chill pool kind of morning and just relax soak in the sun swim in the pool and then in the afternoon we're going quad biking so kind of excited about it and the sun is shining the weather is like hot it's really nice out and it's going to be an adventure We made it to the quad bikes, but we have to put on these ridiculous <laughs> hair nets, you know, for the helmets because it's like, <laughs> this looks like I'm about to cook something. <laughs> we are ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, come on, Zoe, go, go, go. But then she started complaining about like the steering wheel and then she switched quad bikes and, and then she could follow. So, and then like a few moments later, the guy that was on uh, Zoe's quad bike just disappeared. <laughs> so we had to wait for him and basically the quad bike gave up. So it wasn't Zoe's fault. Now she's got a new one. <laughs> now she's got a new one. And she's doing great. So fun! Oh. We have the ocean behind us. Look how gorgeous. So nice. <laughs> Is that a food? We're going out for dinner and the streets are empty because the sun just went down and it's Ramadan so nobody here I don't think there's even a, a cab <laughs> so we're gonna have to walk there to the beach now to watch the sunset on our last day <laughs> and today was I got a little mad because we were having lunch and I was eating my pizza and like the third piece I was eating or, or the fourth piece I found a hair in my pizza and I was instantly disgusted <laughs> so when the waiter came I told him there was hair in my pizza and he was constantly like it's your hair your hair your hair I'm like no no because the hair was like baked into the pizza. If I pulled on the hair, like a piece of the pizza <laughs> would come with it. So, and he, he started touching my hair and I was like, can you please not touch my hair? I don't like it. And then the guy asked us where we were from or no, it was like, he asked us, uh, is this your first day here? And we we're like, no, it's the last day. And then he came again to me and he pulled on my sleeve and I was like, please stop touching me. And he was like, are you, are you the stars or the moon? I'm like, 
no, but please don't touch me. I mean, it's, I don't like it. It was like very, how do you say it? Touchy, yeah. Yeah, touchy, and I just I didn't going, like it. Yeah. yeah, he kept going and asking questions, and I was just uncomfortable, you know. We, when we were eating, he sat at the table next to us, and when we came in, he pushed Zoe. I mean, it was like a weird guy, so we like instantly wanted to go, and then went to the beach bar, which was really nice because we had a cocktail. <laughs> and it was a strong one this time because last time it wasn't so strong, and this one was really strong. And it's eating right now. So <laughs> uh, and I both are. We look like lobsters, basically. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but my legs, her legs, my entire back is red. And it's crazy because we constantly uh, put on sunblock SPF 50. It still doesn't work. So other, either way, the sunscreen doesn't work or the sun is just too strong for us. <laughs> 